Hey everyone, uh, update time. It's been a long time. I'm looking a little, little rough. Um, and you all know why. It's a global pandemic, so I just stopped taking care of myself. But we've put a lot of time into the car. Um, it's nowhere near done, but I wanted to give you guys an update because Lila keeps asking me to put videos on my YouTube page all the time. So we're gonna give you a quick update of the garage and the car just for fun. Okay, let's start at the front. Little updates, little updates. We've gotten the K Miata intake manifold. So we have given the Skunk 2 one to our buddy Darren. He's gonna live his best life with that manifold. Um, our buddy Puya is actually hand uh, porting it to match the, um, the runners here on the intake side. Uh, we lined up gaskets and then he took the gasket back with him. So things are looking pretty good. He's also got the throttle body with him as well. Um, on the exhaust side, he's finished doing the um, exhaust manifold. It looks 50 times better than our little cheapo than it was before. Um, we also had some piping made that I think we're gonna have to remake because it's just too small. It's smaller than the, than the rest of the piping. So we're gonna have to like, it's nice and big here, but once it goes past the steering rack, it gets tiny. So we'll probably have to redo that piping, but the, the, the general location of it is much better. So I'm really happy with the, the direction that it's going and the bends, we just need to make it a little larger. Um, what else is going on up front here? Oh, we got a new, I'll show you guys, we got a splitter. They're working on the splitter over there. Moving. Thank you. Hey, I'll come and say hi in a minute. Okay. So, <clears throat> splitter, we got new mounts as well that are gonna be quick release. Brakes, we got some huge brakes. These uh, ST40s, Ricardo was nice enough to hook us up with his old set because he's got the new fresh stop techs. Um, so we installed the stop techs on both sides up front. Let me show you guys that manifold I was just talking about. So much better than it was. So much material has been ported out. It's unbelievable. And then our little adapter too, it like blends right in. Before it was like a, uh, it was like a square, like an oval to a square. And now I don't think you guys can tell it's looking like it's, that's much better. There you go. You can kind of see right there how it's so much smoother and better. And it's not, it's like a circle into, into a manifold, not a circle into like an oval square thing. So, so much better. Um, he took a lot of material out too, so I'm, I'm excited about that. We did also get this manifold, which is a piece of artwork, but I don't think it's gonna work without me doing crazy modification to the fuse box, fender, wastegates even in front of it. So the way, where the hell is the wastegate gonna go? It's crazy. So we're just gonna ignore that for now. It's really nice piece though, like beautiful. But I think we're going with the Puya special right here. Um, we've got a bunch of more pieces of metal for, for making the engine bay a little bit more streamlined to where we want it to be, moving the air through the radiator, through the intercooler, through the oil cooler, as opposed to just around it. So there's a few pieces to help with that. I think we're gonna modify one of those pieces. Um, here's our little cookie sheet we had. We made this, Pui and I made this to make it, um, to be able to, do, 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 do. I'm just spinning it around, don't mind me, uh, to be able to put it in between here and here. So we're gonna be able to run a lot more better when it comes to heat management. Uh, speaking of heat management, with all these pieces of metal, this was a cookie sheet, by the way, <laughs> like an actual cookie sheet that we, we like chopped up and modified. It's <sighs> oh, pretty fun. Um, in addition to that, we have, we're gonna be running oil or water lines as well to the turbo and I'm gonna be cutting out a hood, little hood vent here. I got this vent online, super, it was like, there's a pack of two, so here's the other one. Um, this little piece of aluminum that was, that was like cut out flat and I curved it and then I started bending these guys and line them up so that they all work well together. And here's the one I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna do one on one side to have that nice little offset look. So we painted them up, Yeah. looking good. Lila and Luisa helped with the paint job on this guy. Oh, show them who Luisa is. Huh? Show them who Luisa is. Show what about her? 
children of Louisa. Oh, this is Louisa. Hi. Say hi. 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 And this, I'm Lila. And that's Lila. We've been doing lots of little painting, lots of little messing with things. Because we're trying to make everything look nice and smooth and sleek. This is a little, yeah. little piece here that's going to go on the back of our, uh, like a gurney flap almost for a hood vent. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like, there was some, just some guy selling like little pits of aluminum. That's how I got this one. I like messaged him and he was really nice. Emailed him and he emailed me back and told him what I wanted. He was super nice. I think it was like V Raptor. Just a nice guy. Huh? Can I have the camera? Sure, you can hold the camera. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, over here we have the axle, we're taking the axles out. We're putting in big boy axles in the back drive shaft shop. Come on over here so they can see that the axle's out. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna have to take the other side axle out too. And then we're gonna disconnect them from the diff and we will be axle free, axle free. I actually wanna put a diff in too, but we'll see how that goes. I think the diff's broken. Ricardo thinks it's broken. We'll see what happens Everyone with the diff. Broken. Everyone thinks it's broken because I think it is broken. It makes crazy clunky noises and stuff. Um, we have some heat managed. Come over here. We have some, uh, um, what is this called? Like the turbo, like the turbo blanket, but a flat piece for the exhaust manifold. So that's going to be nice. Um, what are we going to do next? Are we going to paint this lip? You want to yeah. paint that lip yeah. right there? Okay, let's paint that lip. I think I'll probably paint it. Can we paint it green? No, we're not going to paint it green. Why not? Because we're going to paint it black so the car doesn't look ridiculous. Oh wait, you're turning your car black? No, just the lip, because oh. it's going to go on the splitter. Oh, and here's the splitter. This is what all the cool kids are running, so we have to, we have to upgrade from our $8 piece of plywood. Uh -huh, plywood. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, everything is slowly, slowly, slowly coming together. And we're going to, this is all came with the brakes. we got our little lines here. Um, air, what are they called? Um, brake? hoses, brake air duct hoses, ducting air, brake hoses. So yeah, things are slowly coming together and we got on a rear bumper too. It's super used, super beat up, but at least it doesn't have the chops in it that the chassis mounted bumper had. So it's a really beat up bumper, but I think we can work with it. I think we'll be able to make it not too, too bad. Thank you. And then here's what we're replacing the chassis mount with. This little wing that we bought a whole bunch of different parts for and put it together. So I think these were, the end plates were Barrow. The, uh, the stands are Aerogenics, I think. I so, it. And this is your generic it. element that everyone and their mom has. So I think it's the same. I think it's the same, Jason. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. I don't know what that is. Uh, and then we have some big plates for the stands as well. I think this was also Barrow. So a lot of stuff going on here. I don't know what we're gonna do with the turbo. If we're gonna go a G30 or G25 660, or if we're just gonna stay at the 550. I think we're gonna stay at the 550 for a while. Let's see how it does, see how it goes. And then um, if we are limited by the turbo, then we will upgrade. The boys at Speed Academy just <laughs> swapped their 550 for like a 660, I think, and the car gained like 100 horsepower. So I also have the small AR 0.72, so we'll see what happens. I think they went up to like a 1.0, maybe a 1.1 or something, I don't know. But uh, they also, they did it on a 2.0 liter maybe? I'm not sure, What it was like a STI motor. We also got these uh, wheels that clear big brake kits. They are Weds Sport SA72Rs 17 by 10. Yeah, I did. I had to look at the box. That was bad. But they'll clear the stop text. So this is good. That's really good news. And then our buddy Sean. Oh my goodness, Sean hooked us up with this large piece of magic. I don't. We don't know what this is. All right. It's. He said what it was, but I don't remember. It's like aluminum and plastic, and. Who knows, we might be able to chop it up and put it under the car for like some kind of a flat bottom. So I, I don't know how to do this at all. We're gonna have to talk and figure something out. I have to ask people way smarter than myself. Uh, but yeah, so everything is um, slowly coming together. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update. It's gonna be like a 10 minute update video, I'm so sorry. So yeah, things are happening slowly. 
We did a lot more organization in the garage. Mm -hmm. Show them your old bay seasoning. Our catch can, our, our oil catch can. <laughs> so, <laughs> we also have some extra old thing over there for ever actually hungry. Just sprinkle it on anything. Cool. All right, girls, wanna say bye? Yeah, bye. 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 Stay safe. Stay safe.